Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for January 2024. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and I hope you do have a wonderful New Year's. Um, I am going to let you know that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there. Just take what resonates for you guys. Leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the monthly readings are a bit predictive in nature. So if these events aren't occurring right now, they could easily occur in the next few days or weeks. Spirit, what would you like Cancer to know for the month of January? Oh, look at that. Ten of Cups. Emotionally fulfilled. Let's see what's crossing that. The Six of Cups. <laughs> Shouldn't be laughing. I'm not laughing. That's not me. Let's see what happened in the past. All right. So in the past, you had the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And why all this is happening is because we have the Empress in the reverse. All right. So it looks as if you're feeling very happy here um, looking back at past memories, perhaps, feeling very content. There could be somebody from your past that has shown back up and you're very happy about that. Um, this could have been somebody, though, that you felt was a little bit of a, you know, rounder is what we used to call them. Somebody who gets around. Um, but, yeah, a little bit of a player. I do feel like there was a lack of communication, so you may be happy if there's communication. You're... you're emotionally fulfilled though and I do see oh some of you may just be spending time with family and friends now why is all this happening is because the empress is in reverse a situation that is not being nurtured and therefore has kind of crumbled so it's not um it could have been like so wonderful but it's just kind of dwindled down it doesn't feel like it's growing let's see what is on your mind Ooh, Three of Swords. So you're thinking about a, a very painful experience. You're thinking about heartbreak. It could have been third-party energy. Mm. Let's see what's happening for you in January. Show me January. The Page of Cups. New love. Okay. How are you showing up? The hermit in reverse. So you might have been isolating yourself for quite some time. Um, you may have been keeping to yourself. If you have, you're not doing that anymore. You're getting out and about. Uh, um, for some of you, a period of depression is lifting. You've done a lot of soul searching during this time. You've been trying to heal your energy. And I do feel like you have some answers. I feel like you will be communicating with somebody that you haven't spoken to in a, in a long time. Most likely whoever this Six of Cups is. Let's see the energy coming towards you. We have the Magician in the reverse. Sign of Gemini. So be very careful with this energy. This is uh, somebody that could be a bit manipulative. Could also be doing some sort of spell work. This is also somebody that things just didn't manifest with. Let's see Spirit's advice. Eight of Cups. Spirit is saying, walk away. Or it could be he's, uh, Spirit's giving some sort of information about somebody who did walk away. All right. So we'll clarify that. Let's see your outcome at the end of the... Okay. King of Swords. Along with the Seven of Swords. So very strong Gemini energy. But I'm also seeing Libra and Aquarius... At the end of the month, a situation here that there has been deception in, um, somebody's coming clean. Somebody is going to, you know, confess some kind of deception here. Um, it could very well be this energy coming towards you. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. This is underlying energy, and it shows me that there is a blockage of sorts. 
It could be an energetic block, or you could have just blocked this person's behind, or they could have blocked you. But there is a blockage here. It looks like there's a lack of communication as well. I do see you communicating um, in the month of January. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay, so you're very happy, Ace of Pentacles. You have a, a brand new beginning here. It's a very stable beginning. It could be that um, it, it's your financial situation is making you happy as well. But your your presence is very, um, very stable, very emotionally content, and you have a new beginning of some sort here. So let's see why the Six of Cups is here. Seven, whoever it is that's going to come fast to you, the Seven of Swords. So you've got somebody with, who's deceptive from the past that's coming back. That person's coming clean with you by the end of the month. For a lot of you, this is an air sign. So let's see what happened in the past. <laughs> yeah, so there's the blockage. I'm getting a lot of repeating cards. So we have, again, the Eight of Wands reverse. So in the past, you blocked them or they blocked you. There's there's no communication. There's a lack of communication. Um, some For some of you, this person could live at a distance, and that's been an issue as well. But you're very happy here in a brand new beginning. Let's see, though, why the Empress is in reverse. Okay, so here they come. Here comes this person um, from the past. They're still in deceptive energy, but they want to recover the situation. They may even admit to you that there was betrayal here, but they want to repair it. There was a very painful ending with this person, and now they want to fix things. But you're looking at it, and you're saying... <laughs> I can't say what I just want to do. Well, I guess I can't. You're saying, bitch, you're still in that deceptive energy. <laughs> but you're going to say it worse. I can see it. All right, let's see why the three of swords here. Because that's what you're thinking. You're thinking, you know, is there still a third party? You broke my heart. I'm, uh, you're, you're done with this person. You've moved into somebody else's energy here. Or you're just involved in your own. You're happy, though. And isn't that the way? When you're happy, here comes that person back. It's almost like they got a radar. It says, oh, Cancer's happy. Cancer's happy. Let me just check in and say, hey, I miss you. <laughs> All right. Strength card in the reverse. You've been working on yourself. You've been trying to heal your own energy. Um, I do see that, you know, you fear getting involved with this person again because you fear that they're not being honest. And I'm going to tell you, they're not. Um, you, you fear that they're going to break your heart again. So let's look at January. Show me January for cancer. And I don't mean to laugh, guys. It's just sometimes when my guides give me the information, the way they do it is kind of funny. And that's what I'm laughing at. I'm not laughing at your situation. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. The Devil. Sign of Capricorn. We have the star card in reverse. Ace of Wands reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups. The Empress, nice. The World in reverse and the Eight of Coins. Okay, so. I see you having met somebody new. Um, I feel like there's new love in your life. And if not, um, it could be just this person coming back around trying to spark something up with you again. Um, I do see, I mean, that's happening regardless. I, that's so clear. 
but they're still in toxic energy. So in the first week of January, I see you really working hard. I see you focused on your money, focused on your goals, um, doing self-care, a lot of self-care. And I also see if you have children, you're very devoted to your children, but you may be going out as well. You might be getting out a little bit more, um, which is probably very healthy for you. I do see happiness. I see you being happy. I see you celebrating with friends in the new year. Um, in fact, you might run into this person in a place that the both of you have been when you're out with friends, because I do see for some of you that happening because we have somebody out with friends and, and then the devil appears. So, <laughs> so, but a lot of you guys are already in another relationship and you're very happy with that relationship as well. Um, I do see you running back into this person, though, in the first week of January. They're going to enter your life again in some manner or form. I, I sense that this person could be um, in a little bit lower vibrational energy, and they are manipulative. In the second week of the month, I see you turning them down for sex. Um, that's here. I see it causing a bit of imbalance and you're kind of pissed off about this, that you feel like this person's just entering your life um, wanting to have sex with you. It's kind of like, who do you think you are kind of energy? Um, I am seeing that this does bring up issues for you though in the middle of the month. It kind of puts you in this lower energy because this person really did hurt you. This person caused, uh, it was like all your hopes and dreams just got poured down the drain. So you, I see you kind of processing this ending a little bit more, recognizing that this person is a bit toxic, but it kind of puts you in a lower energy for a moment. Don't worry because that's not going to last. In the third week, I see, I see this new love uh, connection. So I feel like, I feel like you move head, headlong into new love. Um, and I do feel like for most of you, it is with a new person and it is going to be everything that you have been wanting here. It, see, we, we have the Empress in reverse in your energy. The Empress goes into the upright and it's because of a love affair. It's because of a love connection, a new beginning in love for you. And I do feel like um, you just are on top of the world here. I am seeing that your money looks really good in January. I see you working hard, but your money does look really good. And I see you seated in this energy of receiving abundance, receiving everything that somebody else had kind of refused to give you. Um, I am seeing though that in the fourth week that there is still some unfinished business that is going on here. I feel like it's more with, um, has to do with work related issues or money related issues, but I do see that you're, there may be some unresolved issues that you have with this person, but I feel like you're kind of processing those and you do a lot of that processing after running into this person in the new year. I don't think that that meeting was accidental or will be accidental. I do feel like, you know, this person is still in toxic energy and I do feel that they're trying to come back in for sex. I think you're going to recognize it and that's going to really help you to put this relationship in perspective. It also kind of propels you forward so that by the end of the month, you're, you're feeling like the king or queen that you are. Um, you're receiving the abundance, you're receiving the love, and you know your value and self-worth. So there is still some unfinished business though by the end of the month. And I see you working and looking at the details of it. Um, we see by the end of the month, this person's going to come clean. And I think that's when you recognize. So you're either seeing this person um, more realistically for, for who they are, or they're actually admitting it to you. But it's still unresolved, and I do feel like you're looking at the details of it. Now, let's see. It may even come about by somebody else telling you, because I do see like a somebody kind of gossiping a little bit. Let's see how your energy is showing up in January, because I think you're going to have a, an exciting January. <clears throat> Show me Cancer's energy, please. Okay.
Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're on a journey. And we have Temperance in Reverse. So in your energy, I do feel like you're coming out of the, the shadows a little bit more. Some of you kind of withdrew um, during this whole episode. I feel like you're walking away from that. You're going to tell somebody that you're you're walking away from anything that is not good for you. Anything that doesn't make you happy, you're done with it. No more. And you you're realizing what does make your ha make you happy. And I do see you verbalizing this when you run into this person. I think that you've took the time to really get to understand what it is that you want and you're you're moving towards your wish fulfillment. Now, is there still a little bit of imbalance? Yes. Is there still some healing that needs to be done? Yes, but you're going to be working on it, okay? And that does not stop you from getting what you want in the now as well. It just means that you just have some unresolved things that you're still going to be working on, all right? So I feel like you're on a journey here, and I feel like it's going to take you straight towards love. Yeah, look at that, the lovers. All right, so let's see the energy coming towards you. Queen of Swords reversed. The Fool. And the Three of Swords in the reverse. So the energy coming towards you, um, it's somebody who views you as being their ideal mate. This is somebody, again, I'm getting air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but we also have Aries here as well. I'm sorry, Pisces. Um, but this person is not honest. They're manipulative and they're not honest. This person is coming forward saying they want to, you know, heal this broken relationship. They want to heal what has happened between the two of you. They they know they broke your heart and they're so sorry. And can we have a new beginning? Can we start over? Can we have this new beginning? But I'm telling you this person is not honest. They're they're manipulative and they're dishonest. So let's see Spirit's advice. And I feel like they have some commitment issues as well. Page of Cups reversed. The Sun. And the Ten of Coins reversed. Okay, so Spirit is saying, you know, you're on this journey, Cancer. Walk away from anything that doesn't make you happy, truly happy. And what is that? People who withhold their emotions, people who, you know, end things when they don't get their way. Spirit is saying, hold back your emotions till you can see everything clearly. Look at the long term of this so that you don't incur a loss. So I, I feel like, you know, you are on that journey. Spirit is recognizing you're on that journey. And Spirit is saying, you know, really see it clearly. Walk away from anything that is not going to make you happy. Think long term and don't just give your heart, you know, with, with abandon or randomly. Okay? And I think that's in all situations, this new person as well. Now let's look at what we have here because this is, uh, I'm, I'm really curious about the outcome here. Show me the outcome. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords reversed. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So in your outcome, Cancer, I see you just really going over and over and over and over this in your head, really thinking about this person, wondering if they're being deceptive, if they're still, you know, in this bad energy, should you move forward with this person? And then I also see, <laughs> because there's a lack of clarity here, this person is deliberately, they're either lying to you or they're deliberately being vague to keep you in that energy. So I do see you, in, you know, looking at the details. There's unresolved energy here and you're kind of trapping yourself up at the end of the month, looking at all those details, wondering, thinking and thinking. 
you, should you move forward with this person? Should you cut communication with them entirely? Are they being honest? Are they still in deceptive energy? You know, I, this person is going to try to convince you that they are in this really honest energy. They want to repair this. They know they hurt you. Can we? Ha can I have another start with you? Can we do this? But this person is being a manipulator and they are dishonest. It's very, very clear, but it's going to put you up in your head, unsure of what to do, looking at the details. But you have, you have a new love coming in here. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. This is underlying energy, and it's kind of reiterating what Spirit is saying. You know, look and see. Be patient. Don't jump into anything and look and see what grows from this, what comes of it. You know, if you are so inclined to come back to this person, then make them prove themselves to you. Give it time. Don't just jump into it. Be very patient with this, okay? And some of you, I feel like you're just going to cut this person off entirely. It's really going to be your choice, though. But I'm telling you, it'll be your choice today. But I would worry about tomorrow because they're in that deceptive energy. And I, I see it, you know, it's your outcome. I see it over here. I mean, it's everywhere. So be careful. All right. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. Pulling for the sign of cancer. All right, we have Shadow Dancer. So let's uh let me get the book and see what the book says on that. All right. The shadow dancer moves through the forest, finding those who have a strong belief in who they are, how they can change, and who they can become, revealing to them the hidden self they have shunned and avoided. When the shadow dancer comes, you will slowly come to illuminate the unknown within. And in this way, the lost and unloved parts of yourself will be able to come home to you and in time become a part of you that will offer you so much richness and creativity. This mysterious being brings to you the blessing that so many of us refuse in this lifetime, the opportunity to work with their shadow. So many flee from her wisdom, but those who stay find many blessings, more than if they had practiced avoidance. To dance with the shadow, to know the shadow, is a great challenge. It is not as simple as acknowledging our less than pleasant qualities. It is to acknowledge that within us there is much that we are unaware of, and that in order to come to know the shadow self, we must become humble and feel our way into our own deeper self. In this way, our own tendencies become illuminated over time and with patient, steady work. This work takes deep self-love, compassion, and often self-care. It can be troubling and can raise shame, guilt, and fear as we begin to know what we have previously been unable to see. This is a process of seeing the unknown that lies within our own souls. This is not a process of self-condemnation, but one of self-discovery and deep self-love. When this card comes to you, prepare to dance with the shadow to discover the hidden self within who is so very different from the self you have created over time. This shadow self will be a great teacher and will come to you in moments that can shake our foundations. But when we dance with the shadow, we can become closer to whole than we once were. But in order to do so, we must be prepared to explore the strangest, wildest, most avoided aspects of ourselves. In this way, though, we become travelers of the soul, stronger, authentic, with a wisdom that is born out of knowing thyself. When your work with the shadow dancer is undertaken, for it is never truly finished, you will be more whole with a truer sense of who you are here to be. Wow. I feel like you guys have kind of been doing that shadow work for a while now. I think that's where you've had this hermit card and you've done a lot of this shadow work. And I do feel that, you know, you're you're starting to come out on the other side now. 
feeling, you know, more whole. So, at least for most of you. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you've resonated with it, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you will do so. Until I see you guys in your next reading in the new year. Happy New Year and Namaste.